Hey guys, it's been about 15 minutes since we ran the um, Team Turkey races and I'm still buzzing from that performance by, um, by um, Zuno Fateh, um, especially given his first race was just a shocker. And then to pull that out the next two races, really good, really good driving. Um, I think we may have a new favourite, but we still have about, I believe it's about 12 teams to run. So let's not count our chickens just yet, because now we have Team USA, the big one. Um, who have we got here? We have got Mark Heisler in the Chevy Chevelle 1970. Um, in a really nice matte grey. It's a really nice casting, that one. Um, also, a, a bit of a plug for Jackson Pass Speedway, which Mark runs. Really cool racing over there. Um, go check them out on their YouTube channel. It's a really cool track. I love it. Um, his teammate is Wade Bradenback. Um, he is driving in an a Impala, um, that blue Impala over there, 1964. So... I, I have a funny feeling Team USA are going to do really well here, so let's let's see if I'm correct. Mark's in the lead. Mark's around, so is Wade. Oh, well. Mark has flipped over, and that's the second time recently that we've had a, a flip right there, um, coming right out of that corner. If they'd just gone a little bit further, they would have been down the ramp. Um, but no, it didn't happen. Um, Wade has stopped here. I assume because, well, Mark's kind of in the middle of the track. I don't know if you're going to get around there, Wade. So, probably sensible thinking there. Let Wade, uh, let Mark have the win. Um, and you can come back in the next race. With no damage. So I'm finding this very interesting how different teams are doing different strategies here. Some, some drivers are working together while other drivers are just bumping and bashing each other around, throwing each other off the track, <coughs> Switzerland, <coughs> and um, yeah, it, it's interesting to see who is going for this little driver's rivalry here, um, some teams think it's not worth it, they just want to get to the, the actual racing with little damage, so other, other people um, want to get... Um, Want to get an edge. Um, I should concentrate because I've just put Wade in reverse. Um, no, I didn't do that. Wade did that. Wade was trying to pull a pull one over my eyes. Didn't work, Wade. Um, I don't know if that would have helped you or not. There they go again. Oh, wow, well, well, as I say that, both these guys have crashed into each other. Um, is, were they listening? Was it, uh, are you two trying to tell me something? Um, yeah, they they must have, but this time Wade wins race two, so we're going to go to a race three. Okay, so I understand what Team USA are doing here. Uh, they're playing a bit of mind games here with the rest of the competition. Um, they do not want pe uh, the other teams to understand how they're going to race. Are they going to race gently? Are they going to bash other drivers out the way? Who knows? So they're going to do both in this testing stage, just to keep everyone guessing, so that no one can anticipate how they're going to race. Smart, Team USA, smart. Mark in the lead again, and well, this, yes again, they're going to bash into each other, and Wade is going to win because he's still on the track, Mark has come off. Um, Alright, okay, congratulations Wade. Um... I thought you guys would have actually gone for the team competition, but you didn't. Maybe that's a smart move too. Who knows? Team USA is keeping us guessing. Okay, so now we move on to the last Division 1 team, which is Team Wales. Um, so, Wales are running Aston Martins. Um, we have the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, driven by Rex Humanson. Humanson. Um, I noticed he's had a um, name change on Facebook, so maybe you'd like to change his name in, um, in the racing. I don't know. Rex, if you're listening, let me know if you do. Otherwise, we'll just keep the name that you signed up with. And his teammate is, once again, the tester. And the Aston Martin Vulcan. So let's see how these guys go. Oh, 
Well, the Falcon's well behind, and Rex is... Oh, he's flipped over down there again. That's disappointing. Now, the Vulcan, well, he only made it just around that corner. That's quite disappointing for that Vulcan. Um, it's a very common casting, and a, lo a lot of people have it, and I'm pretty sure quite a few people are saying that it's a very good casting. Maybe not my one. Um, but anyway, Rex Humanson has won race one. Right, race two. Can that um, Vulcan actually live up to its potential? Or will Rex just have another easy one? Let's find out. Well, it's behind already. And, whoa, where'd Rex go? And then there's a Vulcan. He may, in fact, finish here. Oh, no, no, he's come up. He's, he's slowed down there. He was going too slow, I think, through there. But much, much better from the Vulcan. Uh, Rex, what happened there? Uh, where have you gone? There you are. There he is over there. Not sure what he's doing there. Um, whoops. Okay, we're going to a race three. It is 1-1. One, one. Alright, race three it is. Um, can Rex stay on the track this time? Can the Vulcan actually get to the end this time? The Vulcan's on the inside lane because he got further than uh, Rex, the tester, um, did. Sorry, Rex is not the tester. Um, so... Can the tester win another battle? Well, he needs to hurry up because Rex is motoring. Well, he was motoring until he did a trick down here and ended up stopping. Um, and the Vulcan, well, he barely got around the first corner and then just ended up spinning into the wall there. I think there's a problem with that car maybe after that second run. Um, so well done, Rex. You have won this little mini battle.